cultural differences um you have any sour experiences about that or i mean how was it for you to acclimatize or did you experience any racism um you know anything like that did your children you know experience any such well, maybe initially when you got there yes 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 i must confess uh <laughs> living outside the country is not it's not a peace meal let me put it that oh, way wow. uh racism yes mm. Uh, I, I, I remember there was a day I went to do some grocery shopping mm. and a white man told me that, hey, hey, see your back, see your back, see your back. I turned, I, I, I tried turning that was behind me, was at my back. Mm. And he keeps saying, see your back, see your back. It was actually, and everybody there was like laughing. It was actually pointing to me that I had tails behind me. What? So... That's how that means is in that they calling me a monkey. A monkey, wow. What was your reaction? Yeah, so wow. uh, because fine, no, when you when you are in a foreign land, uh, there's it. a limit to which you can fight for your rights. Yeah. You know what I mean? Wow, I if, get if it were to be back in my if it were to be back in my country to Nigeria, obviously you know uh mm. you, know, you understand <laughs> that kind of <laughs> For those who don't understand your but what he just said is now police will come separate okay. us. <laughs> no, don't worry, don't worry. I've, yeah, I've interpreted it. Wow. Because, because the two of us will hold grand here. Yeah. You oh, understand? Wow, and, that's yeah. so cruel. But and here, others were laughing. Here, but over here, fine, you can as well want to report that you are being insulted. Mm. But uh, you have to be very careful also because of the gun violence mm. in the USA very very high and especially when it comes to blacks some of them are racist they don't want to see you they feel you are there to take their jobs mm. they feel you are there to just to how do i put it that just to come and add to to, to their problems so yeah. they don't they don't want to see you so you have to be very careful mm. if you want to if you want to if you want to try to accost him that oh, hey you you insulting me what do you mean mm. he, he can pull out a gun he can pull out a gun mm. so you just let you just let go you understand because you know where you are mm. you're in the foreign land mm. and you try to and you try to live by the dictates of that foreign mm. land I, i'm it, sure now you are it, it, you understand mm. i'm so, sure now you probably won't even thing, if if such happens again, you probably won't even see it as anything. You just take it in your stride. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Obviously, when I was even coming for holiday, then mm -hmm. I've been racially abused. So <laughs> it's something that is that is prevalent. So mm -hmm. you just overlook it. Then talking of uh, acclimatizing, mm -hmm. yes, uh, I, I I I live in Texas. Let okay. me put it that way. And even at that, between the months of uh, November and March, mm. we, we, the cold here is <laughs> something else. Wow! And if I, in the last in the last two years, Texas have been in, extremely uh, mm. have been experiencing experiencing snowfall for the yes. first time in more than fifty years. Mm. But that is due to climate change. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, so in, in another two, three weeks from now, winter will our descend. dressing will change. Mm. Yes. Uh, cold, extreme cold period yeah. will start setting in, which yeah. is quite different from what we experience in Nigeria. Oh. You can imagine <laughs> temperature dropping below, uh, below zero degrees. Wow. So, when I mean cold, extremely That's cold. Wow. That, oh, Wow. For you to for you to go out, uh, in fact, there's always cold advice that people should stay indoors. That if it is not extremely necessary, you don't need to come out. Wow! But if you have you to know. work, do you have an option? Yes, yeah, sometimes we have what we refer to as inclement weather that okay. nobody can go out. Even your employer will tell you not to come. Okay. You stay indoors. You stay okay. at home. So, for those people like that, mm. you try to stock up. 
what you know you would need probably for the next one week buy food stuff groceries have enough drinking water, water. at home okay. you try to just talk up so that you won't be caught napping you because you, hey, mm. you can't go to, you can't you can't approach your neighbor to give you anything like what you do in Nigeria that you can and just knock wow. your neighbor's door wow. uh, neighbor 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 please do you have salt wow. no even your neighbor yeah, might, not, might decide not to even greet you you can stay here for you can stay in an apartment for three four five years your next neighbor to you who will meet at the staircase and you will not even put that to you might even stay for you to walk past before you come before you climb the staircase unlike lagos unlike lagos or nigeria where even if you meet in mold where you greet each other you must greet and say good morning someone you never uh, knew at least there is that community yeah, no, spirit yeah, wow yeah nobody greets you yeah nobody cares to know what happens to you next door nobody cares about you so, whether so. you exist or not so you learn and to take care of yourself and get know. everything you need for yourself so you are not stranded yes. wow um that you don't have to stock up everything you need wow. because when you need something it's either you go to the store or you stay without it for as wow. long as wow it's, it's, been a, it's, it's been a very enlightening uh, session with you, Goyi. And I really thank you for, you know, for giving us this, this, this view of, of how it has been for you, your journey uh, to the U.S., how you jackpot and um, how you were able to manage through and how you are doing now. Um, let me ask you something yes, briefly. Friend, are you planning to come back to Nigeria? <laughs> Uh, when you talk of coming back to Nigeria, mm. to come and work or to come and do what, except I feel like coming for a visit, but coming back to come and stay in Nigeria, mm. uh, I don't, I don't see myself coming back to Nigeria again <laughs> to wow. come and stay. Wow. Not talk of this current news that we hear today: kidnapping here, kidnapping there. Wow. Even my friends that come home, the only time I came home. Just before my dad was extremely sick, that was uh, I was I lost my dad last year when he was extremely sick. That I just needed to come in to visit him. It was just a week visit. Um, hardly anybody near that was in the country then. Not even my close friends. Hmm. So I just need to keep my head low. Hmm. So talking of coming back to Nigeria to come and settle back in Nigeria, no, no. <laughs> Okay, not a problem. Uh, don't worry, would we'll, um, Nigeria will be better, and then um, every of our children that have been scattered abroad, I'm sure everyone would. Even if you don't come back home permanently, uh, you can actually do one month there, one month there, or let's say six months here and six months there. Let's see how it goes. No, oh. we, 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 we will do three years here, <laughs> one month in Nigeria. One month in Nigeria, really. <laughs> Oh my God! Thank you so much. I, I've taken a lot of your time, but it's well worth it. I'm sure all our viewers would appreciate um, having this time with Boye. If you are just joining, ah well. Uh, if you watch this one, please just scroll back and then check previous videos that we've shared, uh, so you can get a, a grasp of not only uh, Boye's interview, but even everyone we've had on Jackpot and even our previous. Uh, topics, hot topics they've been and thank you so much for watching uh, feel free to subscribe to this uh, channel press the subscribe button share the link, tell someone about it and let's grow a community together again Boye, thank you so much for your time, all the best and uh, my, my, my love to the family thank you so much alright